Toyota Chance. Now it's here. The Surface Laptop 4 is here to order. Let's go through all the pitfalls. I don't want you to make these mistakes. Let's go through which model you should buy because this is so hard to make a decision. You have Intel, you have AMD, you have 13, you have 15. There's so many configurations, so much to go through and so many mistakes you can make when purchasing this laptop. Now there's a great video by Microsoft Mechanics that goes into the minutia of this laptop. I'm going to be covering some of the stuff in that but I do suggest you watch it. I'll leave a link in the description. This is Microsoft telling you all the new stuff that's going into these laptops and one thing I was really pleased with is that they've actually optimized Windows and they've had AMD and Intel in to work with the Microsoft engineers to make sure the software and hardware work together to get even better optimizations than what you would get with just a regular normal PC and just whatever Windows on it. They're trying to make the software and hardware work together here. So just like Apple, you might get some advantages having hardware and software together here with Microsoft. And that's another thing too. We'll talk about whether you should get this or whether you should get, you know, an M1 Mac. And you definitely want to stay to the end because you will miss something and there's a lot of traps here. Believe me. First things first, you're not going to get Thunderbolt. So if you're thinking Thunderbolt, no, you're not going to get that with these. Any of them, Intel or AMD, you do have that Surface connector and you can actually connect two 4K60 displays to this. So that is awesome. Now I think the first trap is... 13.5 inch or 15 inch okay there's not that much difference in the size there's not as much as you would think between a 13 and a 15 because it is a 13.5 inch and it is 3 by 2 display so you might be thinking oh I'll go with the big screen because I want a big screen but because the 13.5 inch is you know 3 by 2 they're both 3 by 2 it acts more like a 14 inch display so maybe you don't need to go to the 15 inch so you might want to check that out have a look at them before you decide you don't want to get the mistake of getting the 15 inch where you know you have more weight more size but there's not the same difference between a 13 and a 15 as you would usually get now another mistake you don't want to get is don't get the wrong processor for what you do now you're going to have to work out what you do but I'm going to just go through what I I do i do a bit of video editing bit of photoshop and this is adobe products or adobe i do web surfing you know view content you know multimedia stuff like that now when i do video edit i use h.264 h.265 and prores now because i use premiere pro the intel is the better version for me but it's not that simple because i've got to get into the specs of these laptops in a sec and the reason the intel makes more sense to me has intel xe graphics with quick sync so that will make a difference in premiere pro for the codecs i use maybe if i use red raw AMD would be better because that uses more of the CPU. It's not going to be using a quick sync feature. And also because I use Photoshop, the Intel CPUs do have machine learning that is supported by Adobe. So there will be filters in Photoshop that will be much faster on the Intel system just because it uses that machine learning. Also get AVX 512. And if the Ryzen was the 5000 series, I think it's a slam dunk. Just get the Ryzen because the Ryzen will kill the Intel in multi-core. Okay, anything multi-core. But the reality is most of us live single core bursty applications stuff like that and the intel will be faster than that because it has faster single core and it's good at that bursty activity and it does have all those technologies like the quick sync avx 512 and stuff like that the machine learning that some applications will take use of some won't but if it's just multi-core so if you do a lot of multi-core stuff the ryzen is the only way to go you can have up to eight cores with the ryzen as well compared to four cores with the intel but you can only get the eight core version on the 15 inch which makes me think maybe the Ryzen 7 8 core will probably be too hot to go into the 13.5 inch. I don't know why, but we'll get into that specs later. Now, in terms of graphics, there's not much between them, so I think the gaming performance will be very similar between the two, but you just have to work out are you doing more multi core stuff? Go with the Ryzen, and it is a Ryzen 4000 series. Remember, there's a 5000 series out now, so really, this is old or last generation Ryzen. But as I said, for me, it makes more sense to go to Intel, but there's one caveat to that. If we have a look at the specs here, what you can see is when it comes to battery life, you can see that the Ryzen has the better battery life, okay? Now the best battery life is the Ryzen 13.5 inch, 19 hours battery life compared to 17 on Intel. So if you need battery, you have to go to Ryzen, okay? And that even translates to the 15 inch. The 15 inch Ryzen has better battery life than the Intel version. So maybe battery life is more important to you than everyday sort of you know single core bursty activity or quick sync or whatever and maybe multi-core means more to you so then you would go the Ryzen also let's get into the specs here because as you'll see I'll go to a specification where they have both Intel and AMD now have a look at this now as I said for me 
more sense to use Intel. But if I've got the choice here, look at this. 13.5 inch okay and as you can see you can only get ryzen 5 you can't get ryzen 7 so that is six cores on the ryzen versus four cores on the intel have a look at this specification 1299 us 8 gigs ram 512 gigs ssd but then if you look at the ryzen system you get the ryzen 5 six cores but it has 16 gigabytes of ram and yes it does have a small ssd a 256 but if i'm going to choose now I'm getting the Ryzen if I have to fit in a budget, okay? Because that's $100 cheaper and I get 16 gigabytes RAM. And if you want 16 gigabytes RAM on an Intel system, have a look there. It's $1,500 compared to $1,200 for the Ryzen system. Yes, it has a bigger SSD, but you can change the SSD. You cannot change the RAM. So all those things I was talking about before where it makes more sense for me to get Intel, pretty much all that gets wiped away when I can have 16 gigs versus 8 gigs for $100 cheaper. So for me, I would probably go to 13.5 inch with the 16 gig over 8 gigs with an Intel i5. But maybe if I want the 15 inch, and they have the same amount of RAM, I'll probably go to Intel unless I really need the battery life. And that's what's really hard about this because the Ryzen's have the better battery life. How important is that compared to everyday sort of, you know, single core stuff and all those technologies that make sense for me for Adobe products that work with Intel? It really makes it hard, doesn't it? But the reality is, even though those things will be faster with Intel with those optimizations, it's not like the Ryzen's going to be 100 times slower at those sort of things. It's going to actually kill the intel when it comes to multi-core and stuff like that but it'll keep up with the intel don't worry about that i don't know which one i'll go with i don't know is battery life more important to me or is it, you know the problem with the ryzen for me is it doesn't play back my footage in premiere pro because it doesn't have quick sync i've showed that with even the best ryzen 5000 cpu we're talking eight cores 5900 hx in a gaming laptop, it still won't play back my H.264, H.265 in the timeline because Adobe haven't optimized for, you know, Ryzen GPUs. Whereas with the Intel or the M1, they do play back my footage no problem. So I guess at the end of the day, I'll probably have to go with the Intel just because it just makes more sense for me. Although I do hate that the Ryzen does have the better battery life. And I mean, if you're just using it as a general laptop for whatever you need, the Ryzen is going to be more than fast for everything. So just get the Ryzen because it's going to have better battery life. It's going to be cheaper. And yeah, other than that, there's not that much difference between all of these other than what I just said there. They all get Wi-Fi 6, the same connections, the same security, the same enterprise stuff, same display, everything like that. But we just gone into the minutia there of the CPUs. I hope this helped you. And should you get an M1 Mac? If we have a look there, they start at 999. I mean, that is excellent. That Ryzen laptop is a real beast for 999, okay? That is a good deal. And the one with 16 gigs is only 1200. So if you're gonna get an M1 Mac with, you know, 16 gigs, it's gonna cost you a lot more. But if we're talking like the base model, and sometimes Microsoft have the 15, 20% off on a sale in the future, and then yes, I would still recommend the Microsoft then. But if we're talking 999 M1 versus this, I would still go the M1 because, you know, think about it. To compare to the M1, you're going to have to go to the fastest CPU, which costs you a lot more. So you're going to have to go to the i7. It's $1,700 for the i7. And of course, you have to get the bigger amount of RAM and that. But that's the only way you can get the i7. You can't get the i7 with 8 gigs. And you're getting the premium CPU on a MacBook Air straight away on the base model whereas this one you're not getting the premium cpu so if we're talking at the lower end i think it makes sense to go to mac if you're talking about specking them up and you know adding a lot more cost to both of them then i guess it's what you need do you need the touch display do you need windows only apps if you don't maybe just get the m1 because it does have better battery life again so anyway thank you guys for watching i hope this helped you out there it's really hard to decide let me know down there in the comments which way you would go i'll catch you in the next one